Forky Flute, which is a new little series on my channel. In this series I want to show you the Forky Flutes that I play. Um, you might know that I am mainly a recorder player and I also play the hurdy-gurdy, um, but for my bands and projects I also use folk flutes from around Europe and I get a lot of questions about these instruments, so I thought I'd start this little series to explain and introduce them to you. And I want to start with the flute that I get the most questions for, and this is the overtone flute. The overtone flute is a very, very old instrument, and it was mainly played by shepherds. A lot of them also build the instruments themselves because the construction is rather easy. We can start with this one here. This is the smallest overtone flute that I own. And it is basically a stick when you look at it. But it has a hole and it also has a labium as you know it from the recorder. You blow up here into it and then you get a tone. As you might have seen, it has no finger holes. So how do we play different notes on these flutes? The solution is really easy. The harder you blow into the flute, the higher the tones get. You cannot play a major or minor scale, as you might know it from the guitar or the piano or whatever instrument you're playing, because the overtone flute does something that is also inherited in its name. It follows the overtone scale, which is a natural scale. At first you have the main tone of your flute, in this case it's a D, and it sounds really soft and low. I hope you could hear that. At the beginning you have a big jump which is an octave. Then you have a fifth and a fourth and the higher you go the smaller the intervals get. So it is easy and very intuitively playable, which also makes it a nice instrument for music therapy. You can easily play on it and you can just grab the flute and play whatever you are feeling. Something that is um, really important on the overtone flute is the hole at the end. With this one you can adjust tuning a little bit. Um, when you just close it, it gets lower. And you can also do like little ornamentations, such as a little vibrato in the tone. Some overtone flutes have an additional thumb hole, such as my really, really big one here. And the end you see the thumb hole. When you open the thumb hole, you have another overtone scale, which is a half tone higher than the one that you play when the hole is closed. So you have some more tones and you can jump between the scales. which gives you a lot more tones to play on this instrument. Another thing that is really important is articulation. Articulation simply gives you more expression. You can do a very soft one, a du du du, or a harder one, like a t. Articulation is basically talking into the flute and saying what you want to say with your melody. You can also do uh, what we know from the recorder, like double tonguing and triple tonguing, ticka ticka ticka, digga digga digga, or ticka da ticka da ticka da. You can also do slides when you just lower the blowing. I really love 
is the flutter tongue. So you can express yourself really easily with such a flute and it also has a very magical tone. My flutes were built by Max Brummel, except for this black one, this was store-bought and I use it when I have to play in like really bad weather outside. <laughs> Max uses a lot of traditional techniques to build his flutes and I'm sure he also uses a little bit of magic in them <laughs> to make them sound so beautiful. They are made out of elderwood and Max also has a web page with a lot of information about these instruments. I will link it in the box. I'm sure there are other overtone flute builders, but these are the ones that I chose that I like. If you know more builders for overtone flutes, please just comment down below. And if you have more questions about the overtone flute, also send me a comment. I would like to invite you to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook and to subscribe to this channel for a lot of music and information about instruments, about hurdy gurdies, about recorders and folky flutes. <laughs> you can also support me on Patreon if you like. Um, there's a lot of additional material and now a little bit of music. Mm.